Mm. Richard, it seems, was being similarly ambitious. How much is this? 89,900. I need something a bit, a bit less than that. A little bit less than that? Less than that. So how much for a CUDA? CUDAs are anywhere from 35 to 200,000. Yeah. Depending I'll... upon the condition and so on. I, I need something that's a bit less than that. A bit less than that? How much for a Challenger? Challenger start at uh, 20,000. 19,900. Yeah. Less than that. Less than that? Less than that. See this here, look. He's turning right on a red light. That is America's only contribution to Western civilization. There's never been a better time to buy at Johnson Chrysler. I was the only one using even a modicum of common sense. Would you take a thousand for this? Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult. Soon, I took a leaf out of James's book, lowered my sights, and quickly found a tidy Camaro at a place called Adolf's. $2,900, this. It's a big ask to get him down to 1000 Might offer him a burger. Very popular with murderers, these cars. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'd found something we don't have in Britain, a dealership specialising in ex-government cars. This will have been a police car. You can tell by the colour, a hole for the aerial, and it says police interceptor on it. Now, this one was probably... I don't know, maybe a spy, because there's no badging on that. That could have been a men in black, and that was a vat man. And basically, the important thing is, they've all been properly maintained, and I'm told they're dirt cheap. And indeed, they were. But even these were beyond my budget. I don't have anything right now for the $1,000. Even sensible James was struggling. I want a real Kojak smoking. Ah, real cool car, huh? Yeah. How about a 99 Honda Civic? Meanwhile, back at Adolf's, negotiations on the Camaro had broken down. Uh, well, it's not going well, mate. I, I thought that we'd get here and we'd find sort of fantastic old American 80s cars for $300. I, know, I did. I did. I thought we'd just be tripping over Oldsmobile Cutlasses and Firebird. Yeah. Oh, it's because we're buying in that 90s period when they were just making rubbish. I mean, I'm looking at a Buick LeSabre. God, no. It was rubbish when it was new, it was built by idiots, and it's rubbish now. I've got, you know, we've got one hour left. We? And I've reached the bottom end of the town. Yeah, I wouldn't have the Chinese food around here, let's put it that way. The fact was, though, if 